Hello, fellow investors. Get ready to delve into the world of Peter Lynch Investing, the extraordinary maestro who left an indelible mark on the stock market. Picture this, an astonishing 29% annual return sustained over 13 years. Sounds like a lofty goal, doesn't it? Surprisingly, it's within reach. Lynch had a savvy technique, a remarkable blend of stocks destined for long-term commitment and those enticing short-term flings. And guess what? You can emulate this approach even with limited capital. I'm here to unveil the strategies capable of transforming your investment game. Stay tuned because your expedition towards financial triumph begins right now. Make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay abreast of all the insider secrets within the Peter Lynch investing universe. Let's embark on this journey together. 5. Long-Term Investment Seriously, folks, the key to success in the stock market is to think ahead, like 10, 15, or even 20 years. Just imagine, in two decades, things could be completely different, right? That's why it's cool to enjoy the profits in the long run, after life has taken a turn. I'm into this long-term investment vibe, you know? Paying attention to this can be the secret to success. The thing is, a lot of people only think about making quick money in the stock market, but I'm telling you there's a more sustainable path. Of course, you can make some money in the short and medium term without becoming a crazy trader. Look at what Master Peter Lynch did. The guy was a beast and achieved a 29% annual return for 13 years. If you had invested $1,000 with him, you'd have around 27000 today. It's the kind of return that makes people drool. But you know what? Lynch wasn't just about the long term. The guy had a trick. He really knew his stuff. At the beginning, he rotated his portfolio, like, 300%. This means his stocks barely stayed in his hands for four months. In other words, he was like a hidden short-term investor. I'm trying to understand how he did that, and from what I found, he used two less-discussed strategies. The thing is to understand the businesses, you know? Study what's going on. And Lynch, at the beginning, focused on two things. Stocks to hold for the long term and stocks to rent. Kind of a short-term flirt. He says the formula is to invest in small companies with growth potential. Like small as the new big, you get it? Oh, and the trick is to pick well-managed companies. Don't go with the chaos. So I'm thinking maybe that's the secret. I'll dig into this more and let you know. 4. Short and medium-term earning potential. Guys, listen up. I know a lot of people only think about the long term when it comes to the stock market. But relax. You can make money in the short and medium term without turning into a crazy trader, you know? And look, I'll tell you something that will blow your mind. Peter Lynch, the guy who knew it all, showed that you can cash in on that. Here's the deal. You can think ahead, but you can also grab some opportunities along the way. You don't have to be a master at day trading, but there are tricks. Lynch is a clear example of this. This guy not only invested for the long term, but also did some juggling in the short term. Like he hit around a 29% annual return for about 13 years. If you had rolled with him and invested $1,000, my buddy, you'd be swimming in 27 grand a year. A dream, right? His trick was to have two rarely discussed tactics. First, he invested in stocks to hold for a long time, like a serious commitment. But here's the move. He also invested in stocks to rent, like a short-term date. The secret was to choose small companies with absurd growth potential. He was looking for those hidden gems, you know? And of course, only the well-managed ones. I'm seriously thinking about adopting this vibe. If it yielded 27 grand a year for him, imagine for us, right? Let's go for it! 3. Peter Lynch's Strategies Man, I have to tell you about the master of masters, Peter Lynch. This guy wasn't playing around. He was on fire and achieved around a 29% return every year for about 13 years. Can you imagine? If I had stuck with him, my financial life would be on another level. Lynch's genius move was to divide the game into two teams. The serious commitment team and the short-term fling team. First, he invested in stocks to hold for a long time, like a serious commitment to the papers. Then comes the most interesting part. Rental stocks, which were like quick dates in the investment world. He chose small companies, those with massive growth potential. The thing is, Lynch wasn't attached to anything. He had a portfolio turnover of 300%. In other words, his stocks barely stayed in his hands for four months. It seems like he was a long-term investor disguised as a short-term one, right? The thing is, he only chose companies that had everything to shine, those hidden gems. I'm thinking of adopting this strategy, you know?
It might be the way to turbocharge returns. Two, Peter Lynch's portfolio turnover. Guys, check out Peter Lynch's trick in the first 13 years of his career. This guy wasn't messing around. His thing was an absurd portfolio turnover, like 300%. This means his stocks barely stayed in place, lasting about four months at most. I mean, it's like he was in a short-term relationship with stocks. So imagine the scene. Lynch would arrive, invest, reap the rewards, and move on to the next. It's like he had a date with market volatility. People call this a short-term approach, but the guy wasn't even a hardcore trader. He just knew how to choose the right stocks, those hidden gems. I'm here wondering if this is the play, you know? Not getting attached, having quick flings with the right stocks, and going with the flow. If Lynch did this and it worked so well, maybe it's a strategy worth considering. I'm curious to learn more about this tactic and see if it's what I need to boost my investments. 1. Replicating the success of successful investors My buddy, let me tell you something that can change the game for our investments. I know we're not Peter Lynch, but hey, we can learn a lot from the master. The key is to seek inspiration from these guys who have already mastered the market, you know? Like, look at the beginning of their careers and see how they worked hard to get there. The thing is, you don't need a fortune to start, no. Even if you're tight on money, you can figure this out. These successful investors started from scratch, just like us. They show that with the right strategies, even those without millions in the account can make considerable money. The secret is to understand the businesses, not just go with the crowd. So think about it. Choose booming sectors, find prices that are a steal, and invest in well-managed companies. That's the key, my buddy. And believe me, these investors weren't sitting around waiting. They were digging, studying, putting in the effort. After all, it's not just about copying what they have now, but seeing how they got there. I'm developing a strategy inspired by this. Let's go for it. Hey, folks. We've uncovered the mysteries of Peter Lynch. Isn't it incredible? If you enjoyed this journey into the world of investments, don't forget to leave a like, share it with people who are also on the quest for financial independence. And of course, if you're not part of our community yet, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to receive all the updates firsthand. I want to hear your opinions in the comments. Which strategy surprised you the most? And if you have any questions, fire away. We're here to chat. Let's build this path to financial success together. Strength in the family, folks! Until the next video.